Hello everybody, my name is Amy Combs and I am a Stampin' Up! demonstrator located in Simi Valley, California. And this month I am celebrating my 30 years as a Stampin' Up! demonstrator. So um, when I first started, my kids were very small and my focus on my business was a little bit different than it is now. They're grown and out of the house. So um, I enjoy stamping still, I love it. It's like my therapy and um, Thank you, Jill, for having me, and I see lots of faces in the audience, so it's great to be here. Um, this is the project I'm gonna um, show you how to create today, and I've used Memories and More cards along with um, the pack called A Little Bit Festive, and this opens like this, and then it opens, my piece is taped down, okay. The ribbon has to come out and it opens like this and it is a double gift card holder so my kids are grown and i usually do gift cards now for christmas two of them do not live local to me so i'll um, put some gift cards in these and but the thing that's really nice about it is if you take the gift cards out it just looks like a giant card and you don't have to put gift cards in it. So I thought that was really, really cool. So I wanna show you how to create this entire project. And um, the products I'm going to use are the little bit festive papers and the laser cut um, images. If you haven't seen this in the catalog, you need to um, get it. You get three pieces of 12 by 12 paper and here is the back side. And then you get three sheets of like laser cut dies. So I put them in here. I hope the glare is not too bad, but I'll put them over there on display for you. And then all you do is punch all of these images out. And that's what we're going to use on our project today. I also paired this with um, the red and white twine, the coveted peppermints, <laughs> the, um, the natural tone twine and my favorite stamp set in the mini catalog called Sentimental Wishes. And some memories and more cards. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead. I have everything cut, so what I'm gonna show you is basically just the assembly. And I'm gonna start with three of the large memories and more cards, and then one of the small cards, okay? So I'm gonna just crease these. And so um, I'm gonna go ahead and start like this. And then I wanna take my first, the small card, and I wanna put it here. So it's actually on the inside. So my um, adhesive of choice is Seal Plus because it is wonderful. And then I just eyeball it, put that down. So this is gonna create that first flap, okay? Then I'm gonna open this, and I'm gonna open a second card, and I'm gonna put it right next to it. And then this one is gonna go right here. So I'm gonna put my adhesive here, and then here. And now I have created my book, okay? So it's gonna go like that. And then I have all my pieces cut, so I can just go ahead and assemble. This is one of the laser cut card fronts and I just cut it down to four by three. I'll put this on top. Okay, then I love this black and vanilla ribbon and have used it immensely and I don't really measure ribbon, I just cut it. And I figure too much is okay because if you don't have enough, you can't tie your bow, so. So just tie your bow here. I think I had too much coffee because my hands were shaking. And with a sharp pair of snips, you can trim off your edges. Then I want to take a really long piece. I don't measure, just put it. And I want this piece to go underneath here. And I want it to be free flowing so that I don't, um, you know, I don't want to glue it down with my die. So I put the adhesive about an inch and a half apart and then just go ahead and slide that in right there. And then your ribbon can go back and forth. Okay, I'm gonna stamp with 
for someone special with a real red ink pad. And then I'm going to tape down my house and make sure it's straight. And then my little ginger man is going to go right here. Now you could see, I'm sure you saw when I stamped, I got that halo effect on my piece right here. So that would be where I would put my embellishments. So just open those up. Okay, so then just grab. They come in three sizes, so they're super awesome. And then you can put that there. Okay, this piece is gonna stay long. It's a little cumbersome. Um, you can, I'm not gonna tie all the pieces because it would take me way too long to do this, but I took about um, 12 inches of, let me just show you one and then, okay, take about 12 inches of your, any kind of your linen thread, your, um, any of the twines or whatever, and then I just pull this up and I tie it underneath, tie a knot and the bow. And that's how I got that piece. Then I'm gonna open it up and it's very, very simple. All my pieces are cut either three by four or four by six. And then my strips are either one inch or two inch wide. So the assembly goes very fast. And what I would recommend when you're using the laser cut images is grouping, after you punch them out, group them together into the colors because some of them are blues, some of them are greens, and you can kind of figure out what you would like to do with um, the pieces. So this, this book, I kind of took all the um, red and greens and put them together. And then this goes here, my tree piece. Love all these papers. And then this one, uh, what I wanted to do on this one was when it was closed, I didn't want you to be able to see the cup. So just make sure that that is tucked under. And I always stick stuff on my fingers like this. It's easier to put it on a bunch at a time. Okay, and then I have that, super easy. And then open your book. And now we wanna cover up this part. So I used this here. And then this piece was a strip off of one of the laser cut pieces. Put that there. Then I'm going to stamp, put this here. From our Spotlight on Nature dies. Those are awesome. If you don't have those, you want those. And then the stockings here. Stampin' Up! makes it easy because everything is so greatly color coordinated and um, everything works together so well. And then you just build your scene as how you um, want it. And then I did tie a few little bows, so you would glue dot those on, and I'll do that afterwards, just so we don't stay here all day. And then I have this stripe. I wanted it to be all cohesive, so when it was open, it all the colors went together. So I just had to work um, on that a little bit with the different you know colors and stuff that were in the um the pack so i'm going to put my ornaments up here on this piece i used my glue and i only wanted to put the glue here and then right here so that my gift card fits in because if you if you seal it then you can't put the gift card in but the one thing that i liked about this was if you did not want to put the gift card in you don't have to and it just looks like presents but here you can see you can just fit in your gift card. And then these little bows get stuck on there later. And then this one is also a gift card holder. And then here, I wanna just make my pocket here, add my trees. So I punched out the two trees. And when I put them on, I just wanna put the adhesive right here on the bottom. Otherwise, I would seal my little pocket shut. So you can build little scenes with the pieces also. And then my sleigh is gonna go right here. And I wanna make sure to cover up this part of the tree. Like if you put it there, it, it kinda looks yuck. So you wanna just move it down a little bit like that. And then my sentiment is gonna go here. And then I just trim this off and embellish it with the, um, the peppermints. And then we're gonna go here, take your ribbon, put it underneath, 
and then just place this on top. I have a jar that I keep next to my stamping area. So all of these um, longer pieces of ribbon that are left over, I don't throw them away. I keep them for, you know, the addition onto another project. So I just trim those off. So I don't really worry about having um, excess ribbon. And then I just manipulate the bow to where I get it, how I like it. And then I really liked the wreath. There's quite a few of them in here or in the packet. And so put your adhesive on the back. And then I just added um, from Stylish Shapes, I just added a circle. And then take your Let's Celebrate the Season. Stick it on the inside here. Take this down. And then I pop this up. Now, I did not use any dimensionals on the inside of the book because it made it too bulky, okay? This is kept as a pocket for here. Okay, then on the back, what I do is I shut the book, I fold this ribbon over, and I did not, if you noticed, I put the adhesive at the top and the bottom, not on the sides, and then you can tie your piece shut. And there's your double gift card holder. You can do it also, if you wanna make a smaller one, you can do it with the note cards and envelopes as these pieces. And then the front can again be the small piece from the memories and more. So that is it. The little bit festive, again, you wanna grab it because um, it, you get so many pieces um, for very little cost and you can really create a lot of different projects, tags and cards and all kinds of things like that. So um, I hope you enjoyed my presentation. Thank you, Joe, for having me.